Hey, what's up guys? I'm Theo Joe and today we're going to do a fun tech unboxing for this holiday season and I want to thank Verizon for sponsoring this video and letting me give you guys some cool ideas for tech you might want to get other people or maybe just yourself for the holidays. So why don't we get started? Now I'm sure many of you know that on this channel we've always been about getting the best internet speed so we're going to be unboxing this router that I picked out. This is the WRT3200ACM by Linksys claims to have some neat features that is apparently going to make this one of the fastest routers you can get. We're going to test that out ourselves after we unbox it and hopefully it should be pretty fun. So why don't we go over to the table right now and unbox this guy and then afterwards I'll do that quick test and we'll see just how fast it is. Let's go. All right, so here it is. We're going to open this guy up and you might be wondering why I'm unboxing a router of all things. Well, I have gotten Linksys routers in the past and they're usually pretty cool packaging, so I thought it'd be fun. So why don't we take a look at the outside. It's just got all the different features, a uh, processor, dual band, everything you'd expect from a high-end router. And on the back, it kind of talks about the main feature, the Mumimo router technology. I guess the idea is that instead of having to send a signal to each device individually, it can apparently connect to them all simultaneously. It's got tri-stream, so we're gonna test all that out afterwards and see how well it really works, but why don't we do the main event right now, the unboxing, and see how this looks inside. I'm pretty excited. So, let's see. All right, so, we got the router here right on top. Nice foam packaging under here. Nicely arranged. I really do like this packaging and the whole design of these routers, really. They're like the classic WT, WRT54. Remember those? Those are a <laughs> very same style. So, we can put that aside for a second. Quick start guide, you know, you know what we do with the quick start guides. We don't, we don't need those for a router, are you kidding me? All right, so we got the antennas in here. So these are the regular gain antennas. You may have seen my previous video I did about high gain antennas. I will be putting those on instead. So we don't need these really, but I guess they're good to have a backup. Let's see what else we got under here. A router disc in 2016, when, when can we get rid of these? Come on. Comes with a flat ethernet cable. Could always use some of these extra. I've got plenty of my own, but it's always nice to have extras. You can never, never have too many. Give them out at Halloween, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> and oh my God, what is this? This is the biggest AC power plug I have ever seen. Linksys, what are you doing? Look at how huge this is. It's almost as big as my hand. Come on, Linksys. It's such a nice router and you go and put this giant brick. All right, so I wish they would have put that like in line or something. Whatever, all right, so, ah, uh, killed the mood. <laughs> anyway, let's see what else we got in here. So that's it, that's all you get. So you get, so we can kind of sum it up. Not very long unboxing, that's why I'm gonna go do a test, give you guys a little bit more. So they really just give you the basics, nothing special. They give you the router, of course, I would, I would hope so. They give you the four regular antennas, they stick on here. You can see they just kind of screw on here like this. And then a flat ethernet cord. I am a fan of these flat ones. And then a AC power brick, if there ever was one, that also uh, apparently doubles as a home defense weapon. If you ever need to fight off a robber, you can use this. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and then come back after I run a few tests, show you guys the results, and also be careful to not drop this on my foot and break it. So I will see you in a second. All right, so I set up the new router and oh my gosh, that power brick. I literally had to install a new power strip in the like networking cabinet thing because the power brick was too big to fit in the current power strip with all this stuff. So <laughs> thanks, Linksys. Anyway, it does seem to be pretty good results so far. I did a test before and after. Let me show you the results here. So before the results for 2.4 gigahertz was 70 megabits down, about 58 megabits up and on five gigahertz, it was 155 down, 113 up. And that compares to the new router for 2.4 gigahertz, it was 82 megabits down, about 59 megabits up, and for five gigahertz, 169 megabits down, 204 megabits up. So at 2.4 gigahertz, maybe a slight improvement, mostly on the download by about 10 megabits, and on the five gigahertz though, there was a significant improvement around 15 megabits improvement on the download and a huge improvement on the upload, which is something I've noticed. I've run several speed tests. Every time the upload speed somehow is way better. So I don't know why that is. I guess that's whatever technology is in there for the AC. It 
allows better upload speed. So it's pretty good. It's a pretty good increase. All right, so I would say that was a pretty successful unboxing. As you saw, it was a little bit fast for internet, not a huge difference, but I'm still happy with it. And again, I do wanna thank Verizon for sponsoring this video, and hopefully you guys had fun watching it, just like I had fun making it. Now, with the holidays pretty much here already, I wanna make sure you guys have some great gift ideas. So if you want more, you can actually click here to go to a playlist of other unboxings by other creators like myself, so you can hopefully get some ideas there. But anyway, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really wanna hear what you think. If you have any suggestions or any questions as well, I'll be looking forward to hearing from you. And of course, as usual, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.